You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing a game that was not ported to any console. This is Dragon Ball Super Battle 2, and um, this came out only in the arcades, specifically in uh, Japan, but I did see this in other countries, that's where I was able to play it. And uh, all right, let's get to it. I'm gonna go with Vegeta here. All right, so yeah, since this never had like a console release, um, it didn't have much popularity. And it is uh, part two already. The part one focuses on Frieza Saga with characters like uh, Ginyu and Rekum, Krillin as well. And what sets that apart is that if you press up instead of jumping, your character just floats. And while the sprite art is good and large, it kind of makes the gameplay uh, the slow unlike this one which is more like your typical 2d fighting game back in the 90s ah So aside from the going through the sky and down again, you know, kind of like the Super Nintendo games of Dragon Ball. Um, now honestly, there's nothing particularly special about this game other than, you know, it's Dragon Ball. Well, at least it plays good. you have to spam some moves there just to win against the AI, AI here which uh, kind of makes it bad actually but if you don't you'll realize how just godly the <laughs> AI is so it's best played with the two player if you're able to connect two controllers on your classic I guess Okay, just owned by Goku there. Oh, I finally won that one. So yeah, it's no Dragon Ball Fighters. That's no Dragon Rush, I guess, or this version's Dragon Rush. No, I can't believe it. All right. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't win that one. But with the power of emulation, you get unlimited credits to keep on trying. So, yeah, I remember when I saw this in the arcades, despite its popularity, you know, Dragon Ball, nobody really <laughs> played this game. Everyone was uh, playing, what was it? 
KOF or Virtual Fighter at that time. And I can understand why. Find the move that you can spam and just do it until you win. That's how you beat this game. I suppose if they made a third one it would be the Boo Saga characters. But they never made a third one. There was this other Dragon Ball arcade game, VRVS, where you had to do motions on your hands to to control the game. It's a uh, third person behind the back fighting game. It just had a few characters, but a unique boss created by Akira Toriyama himself. And you've probably see, seen him in Dragon Ball Super Heroes, um, Ozoro, but it's kind of a blink and you'll miss it kind of thing. Right, Android 16. One of the characters I use in Fighters. guy from when Goku was still a kid. I forgot his name. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is I suppose a good way to experience the game. It's loaded on your PS Classic and just imagine that this was actually ported and just didn't got released in your area. There, the g the emulation is not perfect though. You'd see there that um, I'm on not on 60 frames per second, and there are graphical glitches here and there. Nevertheless, the game um, it's still playable, and but I suggest you play it with someone if you can. And that should be it for this um, video though. And uh, just if anyone's curious how Mr. Satan plays, I'll just use him. Though I don't know how to use him really. Yeah, he can fly. <laughs> so he doesn't have like fireballs and stuff. I know he can throw like grenades or something. you know they tried something different with Mr. Satan anyway yeah anyway I th yeah I think this is uh, it for the video you're watching it bit days a week this is dragon ball z super battle 2 an arcade running on the playstation classic please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching <laughs>